buddies! Welcome to another episode of the Poor Man Road to Glory. Uh, don't mind me, at least in this episode or this recording. I am genuinely, like, broken. Uh, I took the kids to a trampoline park. I feel like, you know what? Th this is what happened to me over the weekend. If you don't follow me on Instagram, feel free to. Um, you get to see stuff like this. Uh, so that happened to me over the weekend and I genuinely like actually hurt myself. Like I landed on my shoulder and like all of my weight on my shoulder. I'm not as nimble as I thought I was obviously. And I really legit just destroyed myself. Now, yes, also the green screen is screwed up. It's because we actually have a beautiful sunny day in Vancouver and uh, the sun is shining in onto my green screen from behind. So that's going to be a little glitched as well for you guys. But anyways, if you're excited for today's episode, remember to smash the like button. Uh, I don't, yeah, who cares about like targets really? All I got to say though, is this past weekend at least on, or yeah, this past weekend all the way up until uh, well, th sorry, this past week, because I guess this video will be uploaded the next weekend. This is usually a Saturday video, right? The Fut Champ rewards and new squad builder and all of that stuff. Nevertheless, this last week or so on the Road to Glory has been mental. If you've missed any episodes, uh, this is episode, what, 78 or something like that? Maybe 79? If you missed the last, like, three or four episodes, you probably missed the best content on the Road to Glory. I'm going to spoil it for you if you haven't watched it, but we did, obviously, our 12 red inform pack for the monthly rewards. We packed... Conte, one to watch. We packed a walkout Paul Pogba, one to watch as well, among so many other things. Um, we got the SBC Suarez for 200,000 coins. So, so much has happened. If you missed it, I would highly recommend uh, you go watch it. Today's episode is going to be... Uh, hello? Jacob, thank you for the three months, dude. Appreciate you. And Sheeps, thank you for the three months as well. Today's episode is actually going to be pretty fun. It's going to be, again, the usual squad builder. We've got the Premier League requirements coming up for this Fut Champs um, weekend. So we're going to do a Premier League squad builder on today's episode. I'm going to try and use a few different players as well. I'm not going to go with the same completely boring setup. I'm going to force myself to use a different team with a few usuals in there. As you can imagine, I'm not going to not include one to watch Pogba when I can use them. Um, so we're going to do that today. I'm going to spam bronze packs. Not sure if you guys are, or this episode, I'm going to spam bronze packs throughout this week. I don't know if I'm really going to show you guys much of that unless I pack like a really, really expensive player. We're going to do the silver upgrades and try and open like another 50 or 100 silver player packs. Uh, to try and just get more silver players for uh, marquee matchups and stuff coming up and league SBCs coming up. Uh, we're also going to do today, or again on this episode, the Delhi Ali SBC, among many other things. I'm sure there's going to be things popping up this week that uh, we'll do through this episode that I don't even know we're going to do right now. So first thing we're going to do, let's try and work out our Premier League squad. Then we'll go do the Delhi Ali SBC and then we'll get on with the episode from there. Um, so, having said that, I think for the time being, I'm going to stick with this formation just for the sheer fact that I can quickly get Pogba and Kante in on cam, right? So, we'll put Pogba central. Uh, where are we at here? There we go. And just so you guys know as well, I do not, I'm not going to use this formation. This formation I'm using just to get the team on cam because a lot, most of the players I have will fit this chemistry setup. Uh, and then I switch in game to either 4-2-3-1 or 4-1-2-1-2. That's kind of the two formations I'm sticking to right now. Maybe 4-3-2-1. Every once in a while, I might actually just switch to that formation and um, and go from there. So we'll get Conte in the team here too. So pretty, this part of the team is definitely relatively boring. I, I'm not going to deny that. But like, again, how can I not have these two guys, you know? um in in the setup now another thing i wanted to show you guys as well is i guess for when you're watching this episode it was well into last week uh i sold messi on the saturday or whatever while the foot champs was still going on uh, i still lost money on messi i think i lost like 30 or 40k on him i don't know where he's at right now um i, I sold a whole bunch of consumables as well so we sold them for 687 uh, I think, yeah, that ends up meaning I lost like 40k or something like that. But I sold consumables. I'm trying to stay diligent on selling consumables. Uh, I think it's just important to do that as much as I can. The problem is, though, of course, they don't sell very often, man. It takes forever. Wait, did this? Did I just really? Oh, God. I just relisted that Millic and I didn't want to. This is a pack pulled Millic from uh, obviously when we were spamming one to watch packs. I was tempted to just keep them now. You know, I think he's like back in trailing as well. Why did I sell him? So again, um, 
one thing, I, if you guys missed the last few episodes, really, if you're spamming my chat saying, why did I sell Messi? You haven't been watching my streams for a long time and you definitely didn't watch my latest Fut Champs run. Leo Messi's, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn off the music because I feel like it's a bit too loud and you guys, I hope it's not. Music is just too loud for me, I think, more than anything. But I, what I want to say here, for the people that are Barcelona fanboys or Messi fanboys, and they know that I'm a Ronaldo fanboy and stuff like that, I'm not going to say this because of my bias towards Real Madrid or Ronaldo or whatever. Okay? This is just an honest review of Gold Messi. He's garbage. He is literally absolute trash. Um, which... Blows me away because, as I've said multiple times, Team of the Year Messi is probably the best striker and or cam I've used in FIFA 17. Better than better than this Ronaldo, better than Team of the Year Ronaldo. So I don't understand how, you know, just by a few stat differences, how a gold Messi performs like trash at left striker, performs like trash at cam, performs like trash at right striker, performs like trash at left center attacking mid in a 4-2-3-1, performs like trash at right center attacking mid in 4-2-3-1, performs like trash at right forward in 4-3-2-1, performs like trash at striker in 4-3-2-1, performs like trash at left forward in 4... I don't, I don't understand. He was awful. So bad, dude. Um, whereas his team of the year card is just mind blowing how good he is. Like, and that was the whole reason I bought him on this series. I wanted Messi after using the team of the year, um, the team of the year Messi on Fatal. Like you guys saw what I've been able to do in Fatal with that team of the year Messi. He's incredible. So what we're gonna do? I sold him because he's not worth keeping. You know, I, I he's just he's not good enough. Uh, I would bring on Hazard at halftime or in the 70th minute for Messi because Messi was playing at cam for me uh, for a lot of the games because that's where I needed him, and he just wasn't he just wasn't doing it. You'd bring on Hazard 20 minutes with 20 minutes left, and he would make more uh, more of a difference, more of an impact. So I, I just dude having 700,000 coins in a player that does not perform just doesn't make sense. So. We're going to rethink the dream team now for the next we're not going to do a squad builder for the new dream team uh, Which let me show you guys. I think we kind of have like an idea even going as well. No, where is it here the dream? Um, yeah, so that this was the dream team as you guys know, right? Uh, Messi was there. This team is gonna get completely rebuilt uh, I don't know yet if I'm gonna sell Boateng because I need him for two weeks from now or I guess a week from now uh, this upcoming weekend is 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 the Prem requirement, and then next weekend is La Liga and Bundesliga. So I'm going to keep Boateng, but the Dream Team is not going to have Boateng. Uh, once these two weeks is up, if we have an open requirement for FUT Champs in three weeks, the new Dream Team will fully get rebuilt. I'm going to sell on Boateng for sure. I'm not going to use Hector. Um, uh, Renato Sanchez is going gonna, is, is gonna to become a super sub without a doubt. Probably going to just replace Brozovic as a super sub, maybe. Uh, Brozovic will probably then go right back onto the reserves. I think I'm going to switch formation. I, I, like, we're just going to do something completely new. I think in two, three weeks, unfortunately, you guys are going to have to wait for that squad builder until then. Because it also makes no sense for me to spend my 1.5 million coins right now on a legend and stuff that I'm not going to be able to use for three weeks. Like, it just, it doesn't make sense. But, oh, hold on. I think we're actually, for the first time ever this year, going to start outright with a 4-1-2-1-2 team and do something. I, I don't know how it's going to work. I, I, I would like the team to be like this and see if I can figure out a way to get Ronaldo at least on 7 cam and then work out with the rest of the team. We could go maybe with a legend cam and maybe with like a Real Madrid player here or something like that or, you know, I, I, I don't know. And another Madrid player here, maybe a legend. I, I'm not I'm not entirely sure, but I do know like maybe Del Piero, which is unfortunate because then Ronaldo won't be on camp. So maybe I go Del Piero, Suarez on the right, Ronaldo on the left, you know? Maybe. Maybe Costa. Maybe who knows? You know what I mean? I I, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure, but I do wanna you know, we could go Benzema and then right at the start of the game you bring on Hazard as a super sub. I don't know. But that'll be in a couple of weeks. What we gotta do for today's episode is the uh Premier League squad builder. So Let's get back to that Prem team. Squad selector, gold three, Klez. Ah, oh God, my shoulder. So anyways, yeah, I dislocated my shoulder doing dad flips uh, at the trampoline park when I took my kids there over the weekend. Um, all right, so center backs, let's have a look at the Prem. 
We'll look at golds, obviously. Let's see what our options are. Smalling, I think, gets in no matter what. I know that I'm slightly boring, but, like, look at the options we have, dude. Um, so, Smalling is in. We all know that. He's, he's like, first choice in pretty much any of the teams I build. But what do we go as our left center back or our secondary center back? We, pa we packed Altamendi during the one to watch pack spamming and free pack spam and stuff like that. I don't think I'm ever going to use him. I think I'm just going to save this card for, like, a an SBC or something like that if and when I need it. Uh, Koscielny, you know, could use him. Uh, I was actually becoming a pretty big fan of Koscielny, especially with that shadow card. LFC, Justin, and Techers, and Jacob. Thank you all for the subs. Appreciate that. Uh, then we could go also with the Inform Red Reed. I've not been impressed with this card, though. A lot of people want me to use this Reed, um, but I've not been impressed... I really have not been impressed with this card. He just doesn't seem to do the business for me. And I know tons of people love him. I think Nep loves this card too. And the irony is you look at the comparison between him and Koscielny and they're pretty close. And then Reed's got way better physical, bit better defending, similar dribbling, similar pace, worse passing. But like overall, he's six foot three. He's got a three star weak foot. You know, Koscielny is six foot one. So Reed maybe would be one of the top choices. These guys are all, you know, again, from the pack spam, so I'm not going to get them. And we do have Bai. We do have the untradeable um, uh, Bai as well. Uh, so he he's he's an option too. Oz Mataz, thank you for the two months. <clears throat> so what I might do this week, or in the build-up to FUT Champs, is test out in Division 1 and knockout tournaments and stuff like that. Test out the team, you know, with, uh, with Bai and test out the team with uh read right that like the players i'm not sure of uh god this card so happy we got him in our monthly rewards uh i'm gonna just clear this all out for the time being though there we go love that card too <clears throat> so let's go bye eric bye there he is oh so he'll be on the reserves and we'll swap him and out of him in and out of the team and we'll see how he uh we'll see how he plays uh, right back again, gonna be kind of boring. I'm not gonna lie. I know, you know, well, maybe I could be a little bit more, hmm. Maybe I could be a little bit more original. What do you guys think? Instead of, uh, Bellerin, who we know is, is OP, why not? Why not cause a little bit of fear in my opponents and go with this guy? We'll give him a shadow. Why not? Right? Instead of Bellerin. And again, Bellerin, I'll just put on the reserves. If 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 Coleman doesn't work out, we'll put Bellerin back in the team. We'll, 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 I'll force myself to use a few different players. Who cares in FUT Champs? Like, if, if me using a Coleman instead of a Bellerin, you know, I lose a couple more games. Who cares, man? I'm over... One thing I'm going to try and do is I'm over... Over stressing myself out in FUT Champs. Trying to give you guys the best results to then give you guys the best rewards, etc, etc. What we're going to aim for every week, I know we've got a god tier team now, I know that you guys expect me to hit elite one because I have hit elite one so much and stuff like that, but what we're going to do so that I can go try and get back to enjoying the weekend league, enjoying making YouTube content around the weekend league and for the road to glory, enjoy streaming the weekend league, I'm going to try and tone down the stress and just give myself a goal every weekend of hitting gold one. That's it. Gold one gets us 30 or 50,000 coins, gets us two 100k packs every week. It gets us the 12 red informs at the end of every month. That's more than enough. If every once in a while I do well and we get into elite, great. If every once in a while I don't do well and we miss gold one, I won't be too happy about it, but oh well. You know what I mean? I need to go back to that. And I think what it's going to allow me to do is just enjoy and try out new players. A lot of you guys in my comments and on stream as well say like, dude, I kind of, the only thing we miss in your past year's road to glories uh is you trying new teams and new players and different teams and stuff like that this year because of fud champs i use very similar teams every week because i want to try and maximize my success and you know increase my success through fud champs so we're gonna try experimenting with new players again i'm not gonna use idiot players i'm gonna try and still use overpowered strong players but use different ones a perfect example is coleman instead of bellerin why not try them out Another example is going to be uh, Reed instead of Bailly or Reed instead of Koscielny. Let's test it out. Left back. Let's see what we have. I don't even, I can't even remember. Oh my Lord. Okay. So honestly, I would normally just go with a cliche. This is crazy. I forgot I got all these cards, dude. Why don't we try Alonzo? 
Why don't we try Alonzo for this spot, champs? I know a lot of you guys would like to see me use uh, James Milner. I might actually bring on James Milner as a super sub, in fact. So why don't we try out uh, Alonzo? Huh? We'll try out Alonzo, and then Milner I'll actually use as a super sub. He'll be one of, like, our impact subs. Um, Mr. James Milner. There he is. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Okay. Uh, in goal, do we go boring again? Do we just go De Gea? I don't know if I want to roll with Stecklenburg and Fut Champs. Although, this team is starting to look pretty outrageous. Hey? <laughs> this team is actually looking pretty outrageous. But I think that's going a little bit far. We've tested out Stecklenburg in Division 1. We've tested him out in the knockout tournaments. He's not all that good. He really isn't. I mean, I wouldn't mind going Butland. I don't care. De Gea is a bit of a boss. But as you guys saw in the last few weeks, he still concedes the exact same amount of goals as anyone else. You know? He really does. Uh, riding horse. Thank you for the 25 months. Dab, Conte. Dab, I know. Um, thank you, man. Appreciate the 25 months. Maybe we go back to Butland. Do we go back to Butland or we just do we do we just roll with De Gea? Do we just roll with De Gea? Alright, maybe we'll pick up De Gea and then if I get annoyed with De Gea, we'll, we'll roll Butland. We'll roll hard with Butland. Alright, uh, left CDM. What should we do here? Again, do we go, do we change it up? Do we change it up a bit? Maybe we bring Gareth Barry back into the team? No, because, no, no, we don't bring Gareth Barry back into the team. And I say that because Conte is going to be the CDM in 4-1-2-1-2. It's not like I'm going to be able to use Gareth Barry out wide, right? So let's not do that. Let's see what type of cams I have that we could use. I'll just drop them back down. I forgot I had the, oh my god, dude. I forgot again that I had the red Deli Ali. So we could do that for cams sake. Jesus. I mean, the plan today was to get the SBC Deli Ali, but should I waste my time with it? Do I waste my time, dudes? I guess I do waste my time, huh? Why not? But maybe we get, okay, but maybe we get the SBC Deli Ali, huh? Okay, all right. All right, we'll, we'll get the, uh, we'll get the SBC Deli Ali then. I'm not, uh, I'm not, I'm not against that at all. All right, we'll go pick up the SBC Deli Ali for Cam. Uh, I'll try and get that done as, as quick as I can. So that's cool. We'll do that. Okay. Um, mm, that's not a bad card. That's not a bad card, honestly. But foot champs? Now... What I'm thinking here is, again, this is in the final formation. So this guy would actually end up being a left center mid. What do you guys think? With like a catalyst chem style, mm, left center mid? That D. Doesn't have the greatest defending, but got good physical. It's the old pack and play concept from like FIFA 15 when you open packs and when you got one of the new informs or packs a really good player, you built a new team around that player and tried it out. Loved it. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, I know a lot of people miss that. Uh, I, I miss that to an extent, but we still have our pack account, and I use the players there. Um, people are saying gross. <laughs> okay, maybe that's a little bit too different for you guys. That's going a little bit too extreme. Okay. Another card that we got here uh, that I wanted to use at Striker, uh, I think is going to be the poor man Zebra. He is the poor man Zebra every year. Wait, what does he actually start out as, my bros? Does he start out as a left winger? Did I already convert him? Hold on to your tits. Did I already convert him? Ay yay ay, we did! Yo, another card we dude, honestly, my monthly rewards, upon further inspection and further time, like uh, further analysis, my monthly rewards for this month were absolutely outstanding. Like I've got three starters in the team that we got in the monthly rewards. Like, I, there's, how can I how can I be upset about that? So happy. It was actually worthwhile this this last month to grind. Because look at all the Premier League players we got. Um, okay, so there we go. This is going to be our, one of our strikers. 100% one of our strikers. Okay. Um, like, what a card. I'm going to put a Hunter on him, dude. And he will be our left striker without a shadow of a doubt. Ah, my shoulder hurts a lot. 
Um, hurts so much. Okay, so then let's have a look at more left forwards here. So what are we going to do at left forward then, dudes? What are we doing at left forward? I mean, it'd be pretty ridiculous to not go Hazard. Hazard could end up being our cam as well. Hazard could end up being our cam. You know, again, because we're, we're switching up formation, right? Mm, okay, let's see right wing here. Let's have a look at right wing. See what we got to work with. Do I have any right forwards? Okay, so we could go... I haven't used Raheem Sterling in a very long time. I don't know anyone else that I have that's you. What about Riyad Mahrez? He's newly pack-pulled as well. Is Riyad Mahrez good enough? Is Riyad Mahrez good enough, dudes? Different player, definitely, but is he good enough? Mahrez is meh. Mahrez is bad. He's bad. He's bad. Mahrez is not good, hey? Really? Okay. Alright. Whatever you guys say, man. He's awful. Alright. Um, he's a god at cam. Yeah, but I'm going to use Hazard at cam. Right? If I switch to 4 one 2, one, two Hazard's going to be cam. Uh, Arnautovic is going to be... I could... I could change this team up, though, ever so slightly. If I did this, this is going to be really weird. I think you guys are going to... You guys are going to struggle. Um... Okay, bear with me here, okay? Bear with me. I'm thinking of this team, actually, because on paper... What was I doing there? Where's my boy? Where's Musa? There he is. Uh, on paper... This team, this looks obviously idiotic and weird. I understand. This isn't how the team would set up. But using this team, who's off of chem? So these two will be on seven chem once I get a manager, right? Which isn't the end of the world. Seven chem is just fine. Uh, England, let's go with let's go with the man that all Arsenal fans disrespect. For the not all, but most uh, delusional Arsenal fans will disrespect. Um, and don't let me take full shots. I can understand every once in a while getting frustrated with Arsene Wenger. But if you're someone that permanently ignores what he's done for Arsenal Football Club, you know, and, 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 and you just, you say it's time to go, all that other garbage. So if you're Arsenal Fan TV, come on, man. Give your head a shake. Anyways, um, so the team is, is going to be like this on paper. We'll switch in-game. And this is what I'm thinking we switch to. Once we um once we go in game. So depending on the team that we come up against, right? We either go to 4231. And this is how we set up the team in 4231. So we go here. Well, let's let me show you guys 41212 first. Because really 41212 is the formation more than any that I'm I'm thinking of of, of playing heavily. So we do this. Oh, I kind of screwed that up, didn't I? Okay, so maybe not, maybe not Dembele. Maybe not Dembele. Maybe someone different than Dembele at, in the midfield. Maybe someone different than Dembele in the midfield. But this is kind of the layout of the team that I was thinking we could go with. You have Arnautovic at striker, Hazard at right striker, Pogba at cam, Kante at left uh, or at CDM, left center mid with IU. Again, with those stats, you throw a catalyst chem style on him, I think he would be a very, very good left center mid. I honestly think he'd be very, very good. Uh, Neil and Bailey and Luke Fernie, thank you all for the support, guys. Appreciate the resubs. Um, you know, right center mid could be someone different. Deli Ali, there you go. Could go Deli Ali at right center mid instead, right? Exactly. Exactly. So that would be, it would end up being, okay, it would end up being his, um, uh, his SBC card. But just think that would be the, there you go. That would be the layout of the team. That's one option, if you will. Right center mid. I think Deli Ali would do just fine. You can use not two non BPL, Nick. I know. That's why we have Ronaldo and Suarez. They'll be super subs late in the game. Uh, Ronaldo will come on for Arnautovic late. 
you know i'll then drop maybe hazard into the midfield and then we'll put suarez and ronaldo up front together extra time stuff like that <clears throat> I mean, it looks good. A lot of people say are yelling at me saying IU is awful and that I'm a dumb Canadian. So maybe we change that up. Maybe I'm maybe I am trying to be a little bit too like original, if you will, with the with the team setup. But nevertheless, I think we still can roll with Deli Ali Central. Okay, so we then need to think of who will be the left center mid that fits that that goes in here. Who's gonna be that left center mid? I mean, do we go... I don't know, man. I don't even know if I want to go Sterling. I'm not, like... I'm not totally stoked on Raheem Sterling. I don't... He just irritates the hell out of me. Every time I've used him, he stresses me out, man. You know? He really does stress me out. I mean, we could... We could start with this team. Would... Would Sterling be good as a striker? Like, as a right striker? Would Sterling be good as a right striker? That is the question. Would Sterling be good? I mean, I guess another thing we could do is start outright 4-1-2-1-2. We could do that. Because this team works, like, perfectly, 4-1-2-1-2. I'll have two players off of Kem, but, like, who cares? Right? Again, uh, Raheem the Dream could just go fist himself. Dude, why not that? Why not just actually have the team the way we want to have it from the get-go? We'll have uh, Deli Ali. Well, let's go get Deli Ali. Let's just go get Deli Ali's SBC now. And then we'll, ha we'll have another look at the team. That looks sick, man. Why am I not just... just? I mean, either way, I'm going to switch to 4-1-2-1-2. But why not just have 4-1-2-1-2 right off the bat? Two players off of Kem, I don't think it's going to matter, dude. Those cards are, are good enough as it is. Um, Yeah. And then Dele Alli as a right center mid. Look at that card, dude. You're telling me that card isn't going to be sick as a right center mid? The question is, I have not looked at this, by the way. I was confident that I would have what I needed. I'm screwed, aren't I? I am so screwed. Oh, my God. Exchange a full squad of MK Dons players? Okay, MK Dons players, two minimum. Um, League one, I, dude, I should be able to do this. MK Don. Ha oh, ha ha! Thank God! Okay, I guess we go with the untradables and then sell the tradables, right? Are these, are these cards crazy money right now? Still? Or nah? Are they insane money? So this guy's untradable anyways. We put him in there. This dude's untradable anyways. Put him in there. Let's see if we can complete the team as well. Um, oh no, not MK Don, sorry. Please tell me those cards are expensive. I would love to build up our coins again. Okay, let me let me scroll all the way over and see what type of untradables we got. Go some low. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Let me see if I can. What are the other requirements, by the way? Dude, look at all these untradable cards we got, man. I'll just use this dude. Um Team overall rating 67. Ay yeah yay. Okay. We're gonna need we're gonna need some. Okay, I can't go 53 rated, unfortunately. But let's just go with the untradables then. Uh 68 rated. Right mid, 68 rated right there. 66, 66. Yo, Boyata. Was never given a never given a chance at Leeds. Kinda disappointed with that. But anyways. Um CDM. So we could go with this guy. He's untradable as well. Let's see what type of center mids we got. These dudes should sell. Do the do the center mids not sell? Oh, here we go. Better. Let's just do this. Um, okay. Center mids better sell, man. For some reason, people like just don't think to even buy them. Left backs. Look at all of this, man. Are you seeing all of this? Konchesky or whatever his name is. Holy mother of God. Do I sell all the silvers? All silvers are 5k plus? Santa Marie, dude, we're gonna we're gonna make some cash. Look at this too. Yeah, but tell me again, bronze packs and then doing the silver upgrade method isn't worth. It's worth not grinding them up to golds though. That's for sure. Uh, Paul, thank you for the eleven months. I think I got it already, don't I? I think the team's. Ah, that's awkward. Okay, 
So I need to get a few higher rated players or a whole bunch of higher rated players in there. Okay, let me see what type of striker. Simeon Jackson, what a beast. Um, Paul, thank you again, man. Appreciate that. 70 rated. Okay, we got a 70 right there. We can use him. Might as well. He's untradeable anyhow. Where does that take me? Boom! <laughs> All right. Let's list up at least these silvers. Let's see how much money we can make. He's extinct! Am I actually... Like, is this going to sell? Dude... Oh my god, EA Sports, thank you so much for your squad builders. Um, 9,000, 8,000, 8,300. Nate, thank you! What was that one? 8,300 is the cheapest. Let's go to the 59th minute, see what we got here. 8,000, 7,800, dude. So let's do 7,300. That. Let's go. Oh my god, man. Let's make some money, boys. All right, so before I uh, input this, let me sell the silvers. For these should prop. These are all going to sell, aren't they? They are all going to sell. Might as well list them up while I can. Come on. All right. Let's fill the reserves up. Holy God. Is this a lot of money sitting here? Center mid, he'll sell. How much will he sell? Dude, nah, man. There's no way. This guy's extinct as well. I mean, that Deli Alley's a sick card, but are people really spending this? All right, tossing him up. He's extinct. Center back? Let's see. Bro! EA Sports better not, like, ban my account or something, dude. This is this is their own marquee matchups, bro, or SBCs. They're all 10K? Bro. Oh, my God, man. I swear to God, if EA Sports, like, marks my account or something like that, like, 10k, dude. 10k, man. Dude, it's because of the Deli Ali SBC, people. I mean, it, this happened to Ebro, right? So I think by this point, EA probably understand that player prices are going to go crazy. Holy shit. Dude, we're printing coins, man. We are straight up printing coins right now. 9,900. Okay, so this one will be a little bit less. 8,900 right there. 8,800. Okay. Um, so let's go... It was 8,800? We'll do 8. Whatever. I'm not going to be sad about getting 8,000. Um, why 99? I have no idea. I'm saving someone uh, 100 coins. I'm a nice guy. You know? Like this. I'm just a really nice person. You know? I'm just super kind. Uh, right back. Done. Oh my god, these right mids are probably insane money as well because they fit perfectly into the SVC. Holy Jesus Lord. 9700. Uh look at that. So we're gonna we're gonna build up our coins like crazy right now, man. You know what? That Del Piero in two weeks might be a thing. Thanks to all the SBCs that we'll be able to complete. Okay, so here you go. So this is not nothing crazy here. 6200, 5,000, 5,000. Okay, so let's do. 4,800, 4,700. Um, this guy might be worth a lot as well. No, okay, so strikers are not as much. Odd, maybe just because there's so many of them. Let's get up to the 59th minute here, see what we're going to actually sell them for. 33, 28. Well, it's still holding a decent price though, so we'll do 2,000, maybe 2,500. There we go. Uh, center mids, let's see. 2,000. Okay. We think in 1,500 then? Ooh, there's a lot of this guy for sale. Yeah, I'll do, I'll do, I'll leave this one at 150 because I don't know what his actual price is. I'm too lazy to go all the way up to the 59th for him. Uh, okay, so maybe then dudes below 67 rated. Okay, so dudes below 67 rated are not going to be going for as much, which makes sense. So we'll do this one for 1200 Yeah, yeah, lower rated. Maybe left backs could still go though, right? I don't know how many silver left backs. There you go. For some reason, always wing backs and wingers sell for uh, a larger amount. But again, I'm too lazy to go to the uh, 59th minute. So we'll just list them up for that. Dow, thank you for the five months. Appreciate you, bro. Uh, I mean, again, like, what do we do? Do we sell the bronzes? 
Let's see where the bronzes are at in terms of price. Okay, that guy's in the team. Hey, that's awkward. Um, let's see where... I want to keep the rares. I think the rares are important to keep. Uh, but like these dudes. Like some 63, 64 rated guys. I want to see... Like le wingbacks? Let's see if wingbacks go for good money. Let's look at midfielders. Let's see if midfielders go for good money. I bet you the midfielders go for good money. Left backs, right backs. I feel like they're going to go for good cash. All right. Uh, okay. Oh, man. It's not very good. Is that even worth listing? For five? I mean, 550 is still good, I think. But there, that just shows you that I'm pretty sure bronzes aren't going to sell from... Holy Christ. Why are goalkeepers so in demand? Like, that much in demand? I'm not... Okay. Anyways, I'll take that. Thank you very much. Bronzes will be under a thousand. Yeah, I, I think it's still going to be worthwhile looking. Might as well. I do the bronze pack method so much. Those non-rare bronzes, I'll get them all back in like, you know, less than uh, less than a week or two. So if I can sell them and make a little bit of, uh, a little bit of money here and there, why not? Okay, so we'll do that. 950. <clears throat> Uh, I love to see you on the market as much as I hate to see you play FUT champs. Oh, well, there you go. I mean, with my series in general, you get a little bit of everything, right? You get uh, SBCs, you get pack openings, you get the league SBCs, you get me playing the draft on the poor man road to glory. Okay, so, eh, not worth selling then, center backs. Let's see midfielders. Maybe CDMs and cams could go? 200 not worth selling honestly just not worth selling they, they won't sell i'd rather not fill up my trade pile with this crap okay so let's look at left backs and right backs do they sell no surprisingly they don't i mean you need the rating i suppose and i think because there's not a lot of like gold players or if if at all you really do only need silvers let's look at right mids so left backs, right backs don't sell, right mids don't sell. Okay, so bronzes we have now established do not sell for anything. <clears throat> uh, let me just list up this one silver that I have. Here we go. Okay, same thing then. Perfect. All right, we can uh, input this as well. Uh, submit. Boom. Let's go, baby. All right. Uh, all player pack. Why don't we just go open that right now? See what we get. Maybe that'll help us with the other part of the SBC. <clears throat> I don't know. I feel like the rares aren't going to sell much either, right? Am I am I doing myself? Holy Tali. Wow, that Insta sold. Okay, so I've definitely put up some players for too cheap. Look at that, man. Look at these sales, dude. Holy. All right. Cool. Feels good. I think we made like 50K right there. Um, all right. Pack time, an all-player pack. Come on, give me a rude hullet. Give me a rude hullet! The most unlikely of packs. It's not even going to be a gold, is it? No, it'll be a silver. <clears throat> ah. Uh, ooh, this guy could have a value. Come on, BB. Yep, because of the Suarez uh, thing going on right now, so that's cool. Take that. Let's double check if you sell. Turkish League player. 400. Mm, not really worth selling. We'll just keep him for a later date. Uh, Netherlands. See if you sell. 200. Again, not worth listing. England 3. The, that guy won't sell. Um, now the Prem player. Eh. These dudes will put on the trade pile. I got it. You know what? For this episode, I'm going to rinse duplicates as well. Uh, again, any type of gold duplicates I put on the trade pile if they don't have a value. Because I'm just going to put those cards through the gold two-player upgrade. And then we'll bring the duplicates back into the club. So I will do that for this episode as well. We'll have like maybe three, maybe four uh, gold upgrade packs to open too. Okay. Uh, so let's go back to the SBC. This is again going to be, I feel like this will be a long episode, right? With FUT champ, FUT champ rewards in there and all the other stuff I plan to do. A lot of it will be covered just today because I, that's all the stuff I want to do right now. Oh God. Oh God. I don't think I have Spurs players for 83 rated. Uh oh, oh God. And I bet you the Spurs players are so expensive right now. I mean, there's four Spurs players. They all fit in the team. 
But how the hell am I going to get this up to 83 rated? I'm going to have to use some of these expensive untradeables. Use my Deli Ali? Use the red Deli Ali? You know what I'm saying? Use the red cane? <laughs> oh, God. I hate this card. The reason why I don't want to use this card, though, let me tell you, is I swear at some point, I think during Team of the Season, EA is going to release SBCs where you need to use the monthly reward cards, the red informs. If I need to, I'll use the Deli Ali. Considering we're going to get an 85 rated Deli Ali, I don't really need this red card. Um, but the cane... Red Ali, you won't need him. I know, but how regretful am I going to be if you need those red cards for like the team of the year or team of the season or something? You know what I mean? Anyways, let me see how, uh, let me see what type of a team I can put together. You know, with the, with the, with the ratings. Okay, so we've got uh, Valdez. He's a decent rating. Nah, dude, I'm going to need some proper high rated cards. I think we're, I think I'm screwed. I actually think I'm screwed. I don't, I don't have the, the ratings that I need. What am I doing right now? Here, uh, gold. This is what I want. Gold quality. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe we'll be able to do this. Not, no one there that I'm willing to give up. And no one there that's really going to help out, right? We could use Otamendi. There's one. Could definitely use Otamendi. I'd consider it. Uh, honestly, I would consider using Mandanda. You know? Valdez could be used, but if I need to use Mandanda, uh, we also need to double check what I need uh, for that other team. Yeah? Use Pogba. Wait, not Prem? Oh! I don't even need to use Prem! Oh, max six from the same league. What other league do I have with, with high-rated players? So could we do this then? Shoot, I think we're gonna have to use that Deli Ali. Um, I need ninety-five chem too. Uh, so we can do. Oh no, Son's gonna be off of chem. F man. Let's see. Let's see what we got for like a high rated league or high, high rated player. So we've got Yang and Biwa, center back. Hey, we got Subasic, Marquinhos. I could do league. Uh. Don't use, don't use Cahill. Oh God. Yeah, no, you need Cahill for the other one. Don't you? Okay. 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 What about a, what about a German? What about like Mertesacker? What about Bundesliga? Hold on. So, so League uh, is still still doable though, is it not? League uh, is still usable. You need Cahill, okay? Um, okay. Hold on, hold on. Thank you though. Thank you for the warning there. Appreciate that. Okay, let me see what I have in 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 um. Marquisio, that would be outrageous to get rid of him. Don't have a lot of high-rated Calcio A players. Let's see, Bundesliga? Mm, Not much either. D. Hey Nick, how will EA require you to use red cards if not everyone has qualified for foot champs or some people are not even taking part of foot champs? But that's their own fault, isn't it? You know what I mean? That, that's the only... Okay, we could do Bundesliga. We could do Bundesliga. I think. I'm not, I'm fine to get rid of Farman too. Like I, I'm never going to use this card. Farman could go how could go Bender. Um, could go, I actually, Oh, I don't think I'm going to get the, don't think I'm going to get the chem. Oy, oy, oy. Let's see here.
Hmm. So I'll probably have to go buy some higher rated dudes, right? This isn't going to work, dude. We need an 83 rating. Like, what am I thinking right now? Um, okay. That's not a problem, though. Because I can get, like, Havadis, right? How much is he? Havadis. Well, obviously. Okay. Um, we could get a regular, like, top rack? Right? Now, Murdersacker here might not, just, just might not work. I, I might have to just buy someone else. But again, that's not a big deal. Right? Uh, top rack, top rack, top rack. Would it make sense to get a top rack, though? Let's see. I go top rack. Wing Scott, thank you, bro. Appreciate you. 81 rated. Then who would we go at left back? There you go. How much is this realistically going to cost me? Oh, Jesus. Oh, dude. Do I want to spend that right now? It's kind of overkill, isn't it? So I'm gonna spend like 10K on this. I mean, to be fair, I've already made like 150K, right? I've already made like 150K. Um, I honestly, I don't think I can go any lower rated anywhere. I really don't think I can go any lower rated anywhere. Let's see if I can make this work chem wise though. How about that? I mean, that saves me one more purchase, right? Okay. God, man, I need, like, do I need to put my shoulder in a cast, dude? I can't, like, I genuinely can't even lift it. Ugh. Dude, physical activity, man. Who would have thought? <clears throat> okay. So it was Rodriguez. Wrong one, moron! Okay. Jeez, Louise. I think loyalty will be fine. I think loyalty will be just fine. If it isn't, we'll I'll adjust the team. It's okay. There you go. You're ready to buy something and then a bunch more. So 3,700. I'm fine, dude. With all the silvers that we got, that we made money off of, like I'm not I'm not gonna be upset by spending a little bit to get this part of the team done. Oh, okay. Price fixed up to 3,700. Feels bad, man. <clears throat> yeah, let's trade in uh, James Rodriguez. It'll be 95, right? We should be just fine. Uh, who else was it? It was Top Rack, yeah? I guess with the way EA have set up the new um, uh, formation and s ratings and stuff like that, like, player prices are just going to hold now, I think. Whereas before, you could glitch it and get, like, much lower ratings and all that. Now, not so much, F. Oh, well, 33. So was that about 9,000, 10,000 coins right there to complete that? I'm, dude, like, I, I don't even know, I don't even know what to, what, like, I, I don't even know what the calculation is. Even then, 10K, we've made, it just, it's just, dude, you're making so much money, it's not, it doesn't even matter, bro. Look, like, look at all this crap I still have to sell, too, bro. We're fine. Mexa Gaming, thank you for the three months, dude. Appreciate that. God bless. Uh, Dot, Dota Man, thank you for five months, too. Appreciate you. Uh, where are we at here? All right. Come on. All right. Uh, par 
partly partly through it now. Oh god, we still got a way to go though. I shouldn't be getting rid of English players if I don't have to. Perfect, 95k. That is, I mean, I, I people are gonna yell at me for this. You know that they will. People are gonna be uh, upset about this, but you are right. I'm gonna get an 85 rated Deli Ali. So one red card, one less red card. Oh well, no big deal. Deli Ali's goals. All right. Uh, start from scratch. Team overall rating 83 again? Come on, man. EA, dude. You guys are freaking like... I was happy with the MK Dons thing because I made so much, but this is going to get bloody expensive again. <sighs> I'm just going to put these dudes in here, I suppose, and then we'll see. Guess we'll use the untradables first. So 77. Dude. Chelsea play. Oh! I can use Otamendi! Yo! Dude, I was about to use Otamendi with, uh, with the other team. See you later, bro. You are so gone. So fast. Alright, Chelsea players too. Yo, God bless. I am so happy the different things... Oh. Oh, this isn't bueno. Chemistry needs to be a hundred. Trade in Conte. Shut up. I hate everybody. Okay, look at let's look at the prem. Let's see what type of cards I got here. High rated cards. Did I get rid of Mandanda? I didn't get rid of Mandanda. We can use Mandanda. Yo, 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 yo. I didn't get rid of Mandanda, did I? I did not get rid of Mandanda. Oh, dude, this is going to take me forever again. Let's go see here. Let's go see here. Mares is staying, obviously, but Mandanda I'm fine to get rid of. Uh, I need the chem, though, dudes. How can I use those guys when I need the chem? I can't believe that I got Jamie Vardy as well. Like, that's just crazy. Hey, what up? Hi, sorry it took us Hi. so long. That's okay. We Thank you. And W. What is it? Ooh, breakfast? Mmm. Oh, God. Orange juice with pulp. I love it. Thank you. What'd you get me? Oh, ho, 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 ho. That's so Canadian. It's yeah. from a &W. It's from a and Look at this. Look at this breakfast platter. There's... Wait, should I open it? Thank you. I'm not going to eat all this. Hi, baby girl. I didn't want my orange juice. You didn't want your orange juice? Is that why you gave it to me? Yeah. Thank you. Do you guys want... The, look at that. That's so Canadian. Eggs, a bit of bacon, brown toast as well. Do you guys want... I don't want this no, hash no, brown. No, no, we have Do you guys want the hash brown? I don't. I don't want to eat the hash brown. I'll just leave it. Leave it? Like, toss it? No, eat it. I'm not going to eat it. I can't, I'm not going to eat it, dude. Do you understand? My dad gut needs work, babe. All right. You went on the trampoline okay. for... Mm -hmm. Thank you for my breakfast. I love you guys. All right, I'm recording by the way too, so I gotta I gotta try and try and stay on task. I'll have it. You, oh, you want it? Okay, Bob. Here you go, my man. Okay, I'm gonna wrap it up in a um, wrap it up here. Let me fold it up for you. This is gonna be the weirdest recording video. Well, uh, do you want to take some bites? Here you go. Take some bites. There you go. Okay, I love you, buddy. Have fun. Thank you very much for breakfast. I love you guys. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I mean, I gotta wait too. I gotta finish. I gotta finish this Deli Ali SBC. Yeah, you're really unwelcome. Yeah, thank you. You're awesome, Bob. Love you. Okay. Um, eh. these ratings. All right. Now that I'm derailed, I'm gonna have a piece of bacon. Ah. Mmm. 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 Okay. So, Mandanda. Adios. Can I, can I get the team on chem if I do this? Probably not, right? So, I mean, I could do that, right? That's another Man City, but it's untradeable anyways, though. So might as well get rid of him. Mm, Is there anything here that, that I'm, deep. I'm going to need Carrick? Oh yeah. Okay. Hey man, 
Need a bit of advice. Okay. Changed from PS to Xbox. Okay. Recently, wanted Pogba, but 500k seems a bit much. I have 500k. What is better for me? Normal Pogba. Okay. Crespo for 450k or Aguero. Crespo. Love you, man. Crespo. Look, P Pogba's incredible, but he's, um, he's like a nice to have. And he's like a, uh, what do you call that? He's like a, a luxury item. It, especially if you're putting him in the midfield somewhere. Whereas Crespo is going to be scoring you goals and is going to allow you to link up a whole bunch of different players in different leagues if you wanted to and stuff like that. I, I would personally go Crespo between Pogba, Aguero, and Crespo. And uh, Crespo melted people in foot champs for me. Okay, so maybe we'll do this. Um, I'm assuming his price now is rocketed up as well, which is going to be unfortunate. But I think we do that. Um, I guess we can do that. Can I do that? Let's just see. What do I have in the... I don't think I have anything in the club other than Mares. I'm not going to get rid of Mares. I just want to see Kem. That works! What? Mmm... Will it work when I buy all the play buy all the players? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I need I need the rating to be a little bit better. Uh let's look at right wing. Nothing. Right forward. Okay. Um let's go buy Pedro. Oh my god, that's fine. That's fine. I'm not too worried about that. I'm not too worried about that. IU! <laughs> use my uh use my beautiful 83 rated IU. Okay. Uh, am I getting rid of any of those, like, uh, the Arsenal players? Am I going to need them? I hope not. Alright, 4,400. Ah, uh, am I too fat and slow? Okay, 4,500. That's not the end of the world, man. <laughs> Did I sell more things? I've just made coins while buying Pedro. Hello? Uh, do I need Perea? Why do I need per Why are people getting so angry right now? I need Perea? Hold on. I need to... I'm, I'm confused now. Why are people losing their minds? Why do I need Perea? Use Mares? I'm not going to use Mares, man. That card I do kind of want to use and test out. Let's go... Um... No, he's a bit much. What other right mid... What other right mid options do I have in the Prem? What right mid options do I have? Okay, Englishman, no. Mane. I need like a decent rating though. I don't need Perea, I've got the strikers. I I've got the strikers, what are you talking? Oh, you, aha, IU. IU should work, watch IU not work. Okay, I got you. 80 rated IU, yeah, 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 I feel you, I feel you. I don't think he's going to work, but let's let's just hope he does. Let's see. I use 900 coins. <clears throat> Dude, your record is insane. My record? I mean, I think it's obviously... Well, we've played exclusively FUT Champs. I think it's because I do so well in Div 1, man. Like, out of the five or six seasons I've been in Div 1, I've won it three times, four times. I've barely lost it. Like... Really, it's because I played Div 1, I think. The rest is just FUD champs and a few knockout tournaments here oh, and there. You um, with, with the Luke Walsh, thank this you, man. You do. Appreciate you, bro. God bless. All right, so... No, okay, then I just need England players. Eng England? English players. So let's get IU in here. Please work, IU. Please work, IU. Please work, IU. Please work, IU. That blows. Not only does he not work... We now drop below the ca oh god. Um Can I do Do I have any like a higher rated strikers I can go with? Uh, let's go gold. I got rid of uh what's his name, right? We got rid of um Slimani, didn't we? Do I not have... I have a Slimani, don't I? No. 
No. But, I mean, Bonnie is not going to work, obviously. Lorente. I mean, Lorente won't even work because 83 rating didn't, didn't actually work. Zlatan? Thanks. Thanks, dudes. Um... doesn't work, unfortunately. Yeah, but now I don't have the Watford player that I need. I guess I do need Perea. At this point now, I think I do need Perea. I could make him a cam. So that'll work. Could make him a cam. Got it. But I, I need another Watford play player. So... Let me see if Perea works in the setup, though. Like, chem-wise. Pereira? No, it's like Perea. It's like an 80, 80 rated. Where is he? Wait, what? Isn't he 80 rated? Is this him? No. Pere Pere Am I doing it wrong? Is it with a Y here? No. He won't chem-wise, right? Yeah, it's going to be a problem, man. Oh! 81 rated. Dude, I, it's because he's 81. I was looking for an 80. See, that takes us back down to an F and 82, man. Then I got to convert him to a striker. Dude, I am going to convert this card up to a striker, and he's not even going to work. I know he's not. I know, because we're going to lack the chem. I've just got too many guys off of chem. What about, um... Bear with me here. No. I mean, still, the chemistry is awful, so that doesn't... That doesn't work. Um, Shakiri, I don't, I don't, that, that won't work either. I mean, we can check. Let's see how much Zaka is, Zaka is. You know what? Let's see this. Granite Zaka. How about that? Oh, you go tick, 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 with, with Dude, that answers water. everything, man. This is what you do. And he's 5K. Who cares? Big Tuna, thank you. Appreciate you. That's it, man. This is taking way too long. But hey, I mean, at least you guys get to see me struggle through this and, and get this all sorted out at the same time. Or at the right time, or whatever. Whatever the proper dude. <laughs> Holy God. By the end of this, I'm probably going to have made, like, like 200k. On, on, and, and got SBC Deli Ali. Like, that's ridiculous. Alright. Nick, don't use the 77 overalls. I need them, dude. You need Wadford players. I, I, 100 now. Let me see if I can get a CDM. looking no wonder how much more it would cost me to get a cdm card the other thing is how much are cdm to center mids too right like center mid to cdms are probably like 400 k 400 coins mm -hmm. center mid should be okay though right all right let's just let's just pick one let's just get it done with man Ah, yeah, it's so slow. 4,200 would have been balling. I've got 1.6 million coins and I'm killing myself over, over 100 coins. Come on, Nick. Wake up. Let's have another bacon. Mmm. 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 All right. You guys can stop spamming goldfish. You're going to get timed out. I'm keeping it in non-sub mode today. Chat's chilling, dude. There's no need. At least... Alright, here you go. 
Let me help you with this. Let me help you with this. Um, yeah, there's no need oh, to put it in some mode. Tick, 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 with, with the controller. Jonathan! What you do. Thank you. Appreciate the sub. I steal your girl. Thank you for the five months as well. Big Tuna, Luke Walsh. Thank you guys for all these new subs as well. We're not even in sub mode. Still getting crazy amounts of new subs. Hey, there it is. All right. Am I gonna am I gonna regret any of this? I'm only getting rid of one English player, Cahill. I might need him for the next one, but hey, what are you gonna do? Beautiful. Alright, let's go see what we need to do here. If I can't complete it. Wait, what? England players 11. That's it? This is the easiest one yet. Nation England. Gold players three. Bro, are you kidding me? One, uh, two. I'll go with the cheap ones. Three, four, okay. Then we're gonna go all the way to the bronzes. Actually, there we go. There we go. Are you kidding me? All right, I, I was a little bit mean to EA earlier when I was angry because of the 83 ratings and the 83 requirements and all that stuff. Yorksable and Ryan Fisher, thank you for the resubs. Appreciate you guys. Look at this, 50 rated. Crew Alexandra, let's go. Um, Center mid. Bronze, baby. Bronze, baby. Chem needs to be 100. Yeah, this shouldn't be a problem. Should be easy to do. They're all packed pulled. Look at that, 53 right now, are you serious, dude? <laughs> this is so good, man. I can't believe we got Deli Ali as well, dudes. That's sick, what an awesome card he looks like. All this week, we're gonna test him out in uh, Div 1, knockout tournaments, all that stuff. Really get used to the team. I think the one thing for this last Fut Champs weekend is I didn't really play FIFA, um, and I was really rusty going into Fut Champs. Like, leading up to, to, to Fut Champs, I played FIFA maybe five games the entire week leading up to the Fut Champs weekend. And that's just not good. That's genuinely just not good. Um, all right. Beautiful. And City player right there too. Player of the Month, Ali is insane. Dude, I'm stoked. I'm very, 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 very excited for this. Uh, now, do the English players, like, are they worthwhile selling? Oh my God. Well, the one English player I have, like, are these guys like over bloated in price right now? Not really. Okay, so not even worth listing up. Done. We did the Deli Ali. Like, honestly, for any of you guys that in the YouTube comments or watching the YouTube video or even my Twitch viewers, if anyone kept track of this, please let me know. But I, I genuinely think we've made 200,000 coins and we now have an 85 rated Deli Ali as well in the club. Unbelievable, bro. Um, yeah, he's going to be our right center attacking mid. That's where he's going to go in the in the team. I actually might convert him down to a center mid. Box-to-box uh, -box mid with those stats. 80 pace and stuff. I'll probably give him like a... Uh, uh, and, ooh, do we want to do this this week? No, nah, we'll do this oh, next week. I'm not even worried about this one yet. This is what you do. Corrupt Chaos. Thank you, man. Uh, thank you. R.I.P. Sinclair. Why? Like, are you guys actually... Um, well, okay. So... About 130k profit? 150k? Okay. Well, let's see. We've got three packs to open as well. You guys also forgot the coins I made off of the first pack, dude. Silver player pack. Let's do this one first. Tom, thank you for 23 months. Appreciate you, bro. So we're just under 150k, you guys are saying now. Okay. Okay. All right. Still, though, uh, I'm not like I have any right to complain, especially with these packs to open. Oh, all right. So he's just going to keep him. No real need to get rid of him when he's 350 coins. 800. 950. Okay, so that's fine. Uh, Netherlands. We'll check this guy out. 700. Worthwhile listing up. Okay. England 2 won't sell. France, no. England. Oh my god. Don't tell me this is another like... 8k oh my god dude holy sh wow okay 9k minimum do you guys think he'll go for this 7900 
Yeah, he'll go. I mean, dude, he'll sell. Holy Jesus. <laughs> All right. So now we're well over 150K made. Um, okay, that's 200. So probably just going to discard him. Or, you know what? Why don't we do the duplicate silvers as well? I'll put through the silver upgrade method. Why not? Why not? Lewandowski. Oh my god, I even packed a Lewandowski. All right, he might actually sell. No, I'm more. He's 10k? Wait, there's one for 9k. How is he 10k when there's one for 9k? That doesn't make sense. Uh, Premium gold players pack, jumbo pack. All right, let's do the jumbo pack first. No walkout, which is fine. I don't expect it. Who's the rare player? I, I don't know. I don't know if Watford players are expensive right now, but because of the Deli Ali SBC, but Dini is Watford. Come on, Dini. Oh, F. He doesn't sell for anything. Okay. Uh, so all these guys will keep. Definitely. Uh, I got to sell all of this for sure. Uh, center mid to CDM. There you go. If I needed it, that was the card right there. Uh, Tricky Gaming, 31 months. Thank you so much, dude. Appreciate that. <clears throat> I do appreciate that. Okay, so these toss up, toss this up. Silly, but it, they do insta sell for 200, so whatever. Uh, toss that up. All right, so we're still, you know, uh, let's say about 150k or more. Not bad. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Final one. No walkout. Big flare. No big flare. Oh. God, that's a terrible pack. Anyways, doesn't matter. I'm not I'm not worried about it at all. Any sellable person right there? Spurs, come on, baby. Holy sh... Okay, maybe not, a, not as much as I initially thought, but I'll take 1,500 for Trippier. Uh, Spanish League... Oh, were there Spanish players in the last pack that I opened? 600 on bid. Let's go, dude. I'll take that. Uh, Rays, let's see how much you go for. Yeah, I'm still, I'm taking, I'm taking the coins and I'm running. 750. Oh, I think this guy's worth a lot. The right backs. No. Oh. Okay, not, not as much as I thought again. Idiot. Idiot 28T. 1200 though. Not bad. Uh, Turkish League player won't sell for anything. The rest will store in the club. Hayden, I'll quickly check, but again, might as well do a gold upgrade pack. If that's the case, 400 coins. Eh. We'll list them up maybe for like that and see if he goes. Okay. Well, there we are. We got the Deli Alley. We made Boku coins. Um, let's say 150k profit at least. You know, it might be a little bit more. might be a little bit less. Let's get that Deli Alley in there, man. Um, so totally worth getting rid of the gold Deli Alley then. Look at that. Oh God, the team's 88 rated right now. But that, unless I change my mind throughout the week, this is for now going to be the team we take into Fut Champs. That's the squad finish. I'm going to spend the rest of this week testing it out. And then at some point in this episode, or maybe, you know, at the start of next episode, if, if there's certain places that aren't working, I'll talk to you guys about it uh, in the next episode. I mean, as if this episode isn't busy enough, we're getting a midweek marquee matchup for the midweek game. So let's see what we got. Oh, Lord. Oh, yo, how do EA even have the right to do this? I thought they don't have the rights to the Champions League. Yet they're doing midweek Champions League games as marquee matchups. Like it's, I mean, hey, I'm happy, but imagine being Pez. Pez pay all this money to get, like, the Champions League rights, and EA are still like, ha ha, we don't care. We're still going to do all of our stuff based around uh, the Champions League. All right, let's see what we need to do here. Um, Oh, wow, this could be a little bit tough. So, Benfica Dortmund. So, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to, considering that I think this episode's already, like, an hour and a half long... I am not going to show you guys me completing like this and the t uh, like working through it all. Let's go, dude. All right. Okay. Um, let's just do this. Let's do this. Do this. 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 Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay. And then it was Dortmund, right? Uh, Dortmund. I don't know what the rating is going to be. Really, the only dudes that I'm willing to get rid of. I don't want to get rid of any of the other guys. Peace check's got a shadow on him, so that would be just a waste. 
Rare players, minimum of three. Okay, hold on. So Dortmund, Benfica, players from the same league, maximum of six. Rare players, minimum of three. Team overall rating 79. So they'd be kind of silly for me to use this. All right, not that honestly should not be a big deal. I mean, I'm probably going to do something along these lines right here. Boom. Uh, hold on a sec. Boom. So something like that. That's, you know, that's sorted out. And then, I mean, it'd be kind of a waste to do that. But I could just do this, you know. No, because... Well, this guy's untradeable, right? He's untradeable. Um, hmm. So the only tradable one is this dude. Okay. Well, we'll see. If he goes up in price, I'll list him up. But anyways, I'll work on getting that team done. At least you guys can see... Well, the route that I plan to go is is, is all of the above. It's, it's right here, right? So we'll do this. Castro's untradeable anyways. Bundesliga down here. Sorted. Should be, uh, should be pretty... I mean, honestly, maybe I do do this quickly. Hold on. Bundesliga. Uh, thank you guys for the subs and stuff like that. I'm gonna miss them. I'm gonna be concentrated on this right now, so... Hope you guys go, don't get too upset with me for missing, uh, for missing them. Uh, I'll try and catch them. Uh, we just go here. Left back. Uh, I like Kolasinic actually. He's a sick card. Honestly, man, Bosnia has got such good players. Every single year, they they just have good, good, good teams, good players. And our boy Medunyanin is actually uh, now playing in like the MLS, which is pretty sweet. I'll be excited to try that card out. Maybe even just use him as a super sub. So that's an untradeable card. Okay, mm, let's go back to the Bundesliga for the goalkeeper. Team overall rate, like... Okay. Yes, Nick, that's a little dumb. A li little bit stupid. Okay, so we'll go here, Bundesliga. Might as well go with the untradeables then. Hey, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay, premium gold player pack, that one's done. Uh, Arsenal Bayern, uh-oh. This is gonna be a high rating one, isn't it? Oh. Leagues, oh god. Yeah, okay, so this, dude, I am not going to sit here and have you guys watch me do this. Murdasacker. Uh, Willick? Willick? I don't know if I said that properly. Bundesliga, my phone's blowing up. I think it's those, uh... Oh, and by the way, for those of you guys that don't know, I am drawing winners now for the uh, Paul Pogba giveaway. So my, my DMs are blowing up. I've announced, how many of them have we announced now? Two? Or is it? Yeah, so there's the first winner. If your was a up, congratulations on winning $50 on Twitter. Uh, winner number two is Danny. Uh, again, congrats. This is the giveaway for those of you guys that missed it. Um, so I still have three of them to announce. But anyways, let's, let's try and not get too distracted here. Bayern. Ooh. Omen. What's the rating again? 81 rating. Ooh, I'd rather not get rid of him. Something there, something there. So leagues minimum of three. Oh, this is pretty easy too. Leagues minimum of three and rare players minimum of four. So literally I just like do a French, French German hybrid here. That one won't be too hard. Again, I'll do this one off of, um, off of the recording though. Just wanted to make sure I had the players that I needed. Legia Warsaw players. Oh God. I think I rinsed through this one already. I don't know actually where that league is specifically. I think it's right over here, isn't it? Poland, here you go. Ha ha ha, oh my. Oh dude, you know what's sick? These guys are probably expensive as well right now. Nice. Okay, team overall rating 75, team cam, dude, perfect. Do I get rid of both? this right Ajax players I don't you know what's gonna be even more depressing I don't think I have Ajax players uh I, I sell them all oh the luck dudes oh overall rating of 75 okay nationality is a maximum of four. Oh god okay um well that shouldn't be too bad at least I have a base right oh this guy might not sell for anything then unfortunately um 
Nationalities maximum of four. Would it then be better to do this? And like go Polish and then we can go like Dutch. Something along those lines and then link it up with something. Okay, so that one won't be too bad. We have the base of what we need already in the club. Perfect. Anderlecht and Zenit. Another two. Oh my god. Club's exactly 11. Minimum rating 7. This one's going to be a tough one. Anderlecht and Zenit. Okay, so let's go to... I don't think I have Zenit players. I do have Zenit players. What was it? Nationality? Club. Oh, it's clubs exactly 11. Okay. That shouldn't be too bad. So he's untradeable. It's clubs. Wait, no, that's so that's easy. Clubs exactly 11 is super easy. I could just go Brazil if I wanted to, right? Get easy links. Uh, is this dude untradeable? No, he's not. Okay, maybe he'll be worth a lot. All right, no problem. And then Anderlecht. Um, Belgium. Holy God. Okay, that's... That is going not to be very easy um, to do. I guess we'll have to go, like, do something like this. And then maybe, like, Pro League here or something along those lines. What do I got for Pro League players? Uh, that guy's untradeable anyways. I'll be able to make something happen here, no problem. All right, at least we now see all the teams. I'll complete them all off of recording. Then we'll come back, we'll complete them and open the packs. You guys are gonna see that in like three seconds. I just, I, I say this a million times over, but I love this series, man. I love this series, I love this account. So we got it all done through whatever I had in the club. I just put things together. This is pretty much all untradeable. You can pause it here, have a look at the team that I used if you wanna try and complete this marquee matchup as well for yourself. I think by the time you're watching this episode though, this marquee matchup would be over. I think, anyways, and yeah, it should be over, but hey. You know, this, this is how I did it. It's all pack pulled and or untradeable. So we'll take a rare gold pack for that one. Thank you very much. Uh, that's done. This one was actually pretty easy to do. So again, I just used the whole uh, one side. Well, a little bit of uh, a Dutch flavor here to get, uh, what's his name? Zifiuk on chem. And then to get this guy on chem, I just used a couple of Polish players and then a whole bunch of untradeable Italians we had in the club. That got this one sorted out well. And then RSC Anderlecht Zenit took me a little bit of time. I don't, more because I was trying to work through all of the untradeable cards. I wanted to try and fit as many untradeable cards as I could. Now let's, oh, this dude's untradeable too. That's unfortunate. Uh, now he's tradable. I just, did I just list him up on the, I wanted to check his price, man. Anyways, I'm sure that'll sell, but it'll probably sell for like a thousand coins. And like, do, do, do you sell, sir? because of the marquee matchup. You do sell because of the marquee matchup. Let's go. Don't mind if I do. Uh, Eno Akam, thank you. Untradeable. You sell. List you up. 2,000. Okay. Uh, so we'll do that. Perfect. Tradable. List you up. Okay, I, I'll probably go for a thousand coins. I should have listed them up for a little bit cheaper than that. Tradable as well. 600 on bid. Okay, there's one for 800, so. Probably a waste of time tossing this guy up for 750 coins, but hey, I, if I can double double the coins, why not? There we go, jumbo premium gold pack done. So we got two jumbo packs to open. What do we open, another 10 packs this episode? Thanks to uh, SBCs. Deli Ali and Marquee matchups. There it is. A prime gold player pack for completing it as well. Don't mind if I do EA. Yeah, definitely next week. We're going to grind bronze packs. We're going to grind the silver upgrade packs. And then we should be able to complete this one for free as well, which is pretty nice. Look at that, man. I love it. I love it. So hyped for this series. All right, five packs. Come on, baby. Come on. I'm not expecting anything. At this point, now that we have a Pogba one to watch pack pulled in this club, I don't care. I don't expect anything from EA, uh, and not that I deserve it either, but here we go. Uh, first jumbo pack. Okay, for some reason, uh, th that delay tripped me out. I thought that was gonna be a walkout. I don't know why. Oh my God. All right, we'll store all that. None of that has a value. I'll sell this, no, I'll sell this now. Sell that now. 
keep that catalyst i was gonna put a catalyst on deli alley actually we haven't worked on the chem styles yet for the team uh fred will put on the trade pile as a duke championship i don't think this guy will have any value let's double check anyways though 950 coins okay don't mind if i do uh so there's another like 3500 coins right there there we go a thousand a pop for all of these 950 uh 950 yeah whatever 900 who cares and then all of that i'll discard take a little bit more coins okay come on one more jumbo come on ea just big flare hit me with a big flare yeah let's go who is it good set yo ow my shoulder julian draxler man does he still go for a lot he's a new transfer but not so much of a new transfer lex stuga thank you for 25 months man if he's going i'm gonna say this right now if he's going for under like 6k or 5 or 6k i'm gonna keep him because he'll do two things he'll either allow us to link up a few different leagues going forward like he's someone that's just worthwhile keeping in the club unless he's going for like 6k nah well he's 4,000 coins that's actually not bad so he's not going for a lot that's a card i'm just gonna keep honestly he'll help us like five star weak foot four star skills six foot two you go league uh, i could get lacazette linked up with like a bundesliga setup dude 100 percent keeping him man one less player i'll have to buy uh okay so these dude i have so many consumables i need to sell it's it's crazy left wing to left forward i will keep that chesney as a duplicate so we'll rinse him through the gold upgrades as well am i gonna do the gold upgrade packs on this episode as well or do we save them for next episode we've got so so many packs open this episode and we've got the 100k packs from the foot champ rewards to open later as well all right done done come on come on that's at least a thousand coins so that's solid uh marquee matchups usually last three days i can't remember what this one is i think it's three days as well all right so let's go we'll go premium player pack then we'll go the rare gold pack and then we'll do prime okay no big flare yeah these ones are usually just garb um spain two portugal munir is a sick card i don't think he's worth very much though you know what i'll just keep munir then no problem there uh oh that center back actually sells i think right the la liga center back the rare player anyways rare gold pack come on baby no walkouts no big flares feels bad man okay list that stuff i guess i can list that up now keep that that's a terrible pack though can he, I can't even sugarcoat that in any way. That's an awful pack. So that'll be like 2,000 coins maybe from the pack. And to think these cost 25,000 coins to open. All right, final one. Come on, prime player pack. Can we get anything? You guys tweet me with your like rude hullet pack pulls and stuff from these SPCs. I don't deserve anything. I don't expect anything, but I would love something. No walkout no big flare <laughs> who's that oh my lord that's awful all right no big deal i'm not worried about it okay a few la liga players though let's just double check if they have a value okay he doesn't so not worth listing uh sergio rico i think this is sergio rico there you go some of these players do have decent values um toss him up spain piatti i think oh my god i think that french left mid sells for a good amount Piatti doesn't sell for much anymore Oh, well, I'll still list him up. Uh, come on. Sell, buddy. Sell for a few thousand. 4,900. Is that price fixed? 4,300. Oh, all right. I'll toss mine up for 3,900. Nice. Very good. Very, very good. There we go. And Gibson will put on the trade pile. Not bad, man, for completing those SBCs for free. I had to do it. I had to do it, boys. Uh, and just ended the stream. Um, been We've been looking at Del Piro's all day. Been seeing him sell on bid anywhere from like 1.35 to 1.38 mil. Uh, we saw a couple of Del Piro's listed up for like 1.5 to 1.6 mil. Fresh 
and I decided to not jump on it, but I was just looking through the market at whatever was listed. I got really excited at this one uh, about an hour ago when it was listed up. It was listed up at 12 hours, and I got really excited, but I got, for some reason I thought it was fresh, but obviously played for this guy packed him, I suppose, used him for one game, uh, got three goals and decided to list him up. And then I was looking at the market and I saw this one. Now, all day long, there has been a card that was listed by a second owner for about anywhere from 1.5 to 1.55 to 1.6, I think we even saw on my stream. And I guess the guy just wanted to sell him. Lucky me. Now, I had to do it. And honestly, it's not the absolute cheapest card we've seen all day today, but it's pretty close. 1.4 mil for a Del Piero. Uh, we get to use him, actually. I wasn't planning on it, but here we are. We definitely get to use him for the Road to Glory and for the FUT Champions run this upcoming weekend. So I'm very, very excited about that. I mean, hopefully I don't lose too much money. At this point in time, I think even if I lose 100k here or there, if his price comes down a little bit more, so be it. I'm not going to be totally, totally upset with it. So let me list... Uh, hold on, let me put him in the club here. How do you, how do you even do that? <laughs> there it is. All right, and sorry, no face cam or anything like that. I'm just, I'm sitting here editing. I just wanted to make sure I got this covered in... Uh, the video and stuff like that because this obviously just happened randomly it's not happening on stream or anything at all uh, so I just wanted to make sure I showed you guys so there it is uh, we'll definitely toss that in the club which is super super exciting um, yeah I mean dude that that pays off just checking the market randomly throughout the day uh, and let me quickly show you guys as well so these are the ones that have sold throughout the day 1.39 uh, that one wasn't fresh that one wasn't fresh 1.375 uh, here's another one. This is the one that we saw as well earlier on stream. This is, I think, literally a first owner as well for 1.5. So I don't think that one's going to sell, not for a while, unless someone's very, very desperate to get a fresh Del Piero for 1.5. But hey, I mean, I'm I'm just in shock that I've got a fresh Cristiano Ronaldo on this account. I've got a fresh, obviously, pack pulled Luis Suarez. And now we have a fresh Del Piero. Now, I loved this card absolutely love this card when he used him on this account when we got him you know when we unlocked him or whatever and i loved him on my uh pack only account where i actually spend money i use this card for a little while as well and he was just absolutely fantastic so what we're gonna do here is for the uh, i was gonna say for the dream team i don't know if this is for the dream team but this is again this is the completed squad i think what we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna get deli ali maybe i'll put deli ali on um on the bench i'm not entirely sure we might test them out this week I, I haven't decided yet but this is going to be oh baby i'm so excited this is going to be the team officially now now do i have a center forward center attacking mid yes i do i haven't just i mean i haven't really figured out what type of chem style we're going to use on them i'll do that a little bit later it'll probably be a hunter maybe a dead eye maybe a maestro maybe maybe a, a hawk I haven't decided yet, but there is the team ready to go for FUT Champs. I've been seeing so many YouTubers, you know, saying that these are actually good. GCI Messi is apparently um, making proper cash off of these. So maybe we should try it. I'm always scared to spend this type of coins per pack. It's a pretty big risk. But anyways, we'll do one. Let's see if we even come close to breaking even here. That doesn't look that doesn't look good to begin with. That's for sure. Oh my god. Okay. Please, for the love of all that is holy, sell for a lot of coins. Oh, uh, come on, man. 1400? Why, man? Why were people trying to convince me that this was good? 1400 that is these are the worst packs ever. Are you what? Hello? I mean, that's like 23, 2200 coins right there. Eredivisie, maybe this guy sells? Please sell, dude. Oh my god. Okay, that's like barely over 2500 coins. I hate everybody. That's it? 2500 coins, do you sell, dude? You're looking at me like you're like all happy, like you maybe do sell. Look at how, look at how, look at how proud he is of his 85 pace rating. Okay, he's not, he's not gonna sell. 
Dude, this is terrible, man. What? Why do I? Nah. I mean, I'm going to try and sell this guy to make my coins back. I didn't even make back like a quarter of my coins. All right, we'll do one more. Give me a Toulouse player, EA. Why am I doing this? Oh, God. Okay. He might sell. I don't know if he'll sell for a good amount, but he he might he might be. I uh, okay. There's a few more players that are gonna have a value though. This is good. Jesus mercy. Yeah, this guy doesn't even sell, man. All right, eight fifty. Greece will keep. Um, pro league, please sell. Fifteen hundred. Okay, a little bit better. Thirteen hundred. Let's barely two thousand coins though. Oh my god. So again, just under 2,500. League 2, Russian League. <laughs> oh my god. Still about 2,500. That hurts my soul. Uh, a lot of players from the... Okay, that's a bit better. Let's just do that. Okay, so let's say about 3,000 coins maybe. Because some of these guys will just go on bid as well. Mm, Harvey. Yo, Ben, indeed. thank you, man. Appreciate that. Hey, Nick, just got Ed Sheeran tickets. So happy right now. Also love the PMRTG. It's my favorite series on YouTube. Yo, thank Do you. Do you have any advice for getting better at FIFA as I need to get gold three, but usually only get 16 wins? Keep up the good work. Yo, thank you, by the way. Uh, ben, appreciate the $4.05. My biggest recommendation for getting better at FIFA is spam divisions. Sp just play the hell out of divisions. By the time you get to division one, and you're able to hold in Division 1, like, I'm not even saying win Division 1, but by the time you're able to stay composed, get the results you need to at least just stay in Division 1 consistently, you will guaranteed be, like, a Gold 2, Gold 1 player um, in, 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 that, in that regard. Fad! Thank you for the 10 months, dude! Uh, wife and I wish you and Steph a happy Valentine's Day. Have a great stream. Sorry about the other day. Had to leave. Couldn't play H1. Uh, love you, bro. Thank you, man. Love you too, buddy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna do one more of these. I'm like, this is this is pathetic. These are awful, dude. I just wasted like sixteen thousand coins, pretty much. So I've just wasted like twenty four thousand coins, barring I get a Toulouse player, which of course I don't get. Dude, these are awful, man. <gasps> oh, sweet mother of Christ! That is ten k, I think. <laughs> Let's go, boys! Extinct! That's okay. Uh, shish! I told you guys these were good. I told you these were good. 10k right there. Already made profit. Okay, so wait. We spent 24k. Mm, We've probably made back about 15k deep. right now. So that's good. Thanks for months of entertainment. Yo, cheers, Eero. God bless, man. Thank you. Uh, Russian League. This guy probably won't sell for anything. <laughs> I told you guys these were fantastic. Y'all telling me that they weren't good, you know? Just rude, man. Just let me let me do me, okay? Okay, so we'll just store him. Uh, store all of that. I think this French player sells for quite a bit, man. I think he sells for... Oh, my God. Holy moly! 5,600... 5,000? Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure we've now made profit off of these packs. Holy Lord. Let's just double check this dude as well. 200 on bid, 900. Okay, so let's just do like 350 or something like that. Feels good. I don't know if this dude really sells. Worthwhile list, 200 coins. Uh, we'll try and sell him. If he doesn't sell, whatever, it's all good. Okay, I'll do one more. Four is one of my favorite numbers. Four is considered one of my lucky numbers. I'll do one more. And then we've got a, a bunch of silver packs packs to open and a rare two-player gold pack to open as well. We might as well just do that this episode as well. Why not, right? It's like the pack opening episode. All right, final one. I'm actually getting a gold inform out of this. Be sick. Who's that? Is that La Liga Santander? Please, I don't think it is, is it? I don't think that is. That's unfortunate. Please. Please. There's an England 3 gold keeper. Holy God! 35,000 coins! Whoa! 80, 13,000, dude! Ho ho ho! 13,000, bro! 13,250. I'll put mine up for 12,500. Okay, we've now made Boku coins. 
Oh my god, dude! Do I keep going? I don't know what I do. Do we get... <laughs> I don't even want... This is such a meme. I'm not even going to repeat it. I'll keep them. Um, hey, Nefty as well, dude! Unreal! How many people on two-year resubscriptions on uh, the stream today? Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I think this is another, like, at least 3 or 4K. 6,500. Nefni, thank you so much for the two years, bro. Appreciate you. 6,000. So, dude, we have made... I told you guys these packs were awesome. FIFA Assassin, thank you for the two months as well, dude. Nefni, love you. Appreciate you. I, I, I don't know why. No one, no one... You know, no one believed me when I said these are totally worth the risk. You just gotta be patient. Am I right? God, the amount of people that just won't get sarcasm that'll be losing their minds in the YouTube comments and on stream, undoubtedly. All right, this guy doesn't really sell for much, but we'll, we'll toss him up for the 200. Do we do what? I, I told you four is my lucky number, though. The thing is, is it's like we're at the casino. Do I stop while I'm ahead? Do I stop while I'm ahead? Why are England players so expensive? Go look at the Delhi Ali SBC, dude. Every single English silver, because you need a rating of 67 or 66 or something like that in one of the squads, every English silver is a pretty much extinct. And I don't mean like English, I mean like from that particular English league. All right, let me open these silver packs and then we'll decide if we open more. Let's see how our luck is in these silver player packs and then that gold two player pack. Oh, wow. God. All right, everybody, at least on Twitch, people are saying to stop. So, I guess I'll stop. We'll open these, and then we'll open the gold pack. And then we'll just... We gotta we gotta test out Del Piero. We gotta get ready for what champion. Start practicing with the Premier League team. Never heard of that guy before. Oh, no. Uh, I think the other one I have as well is uh, untradeable. Ooh, maybe not. Cool. Feels good. Pull well, that one up. I'm glad I checked, man. Come on. Should I just skip these? Yeah, look. Is that... I think that's the Liga Santa there. I can't do anything with this guy either way. Oh, it's League 2. Another League... This guy used to be worth so much. I always get the ones... Can I get some Scottish League players, EA? It's really all I need anymore. Maybe it was some Scottish League dudes. Oh, yeah. I said I was skipping them, wasn't I? Holy God, this guy is, is, I think this guy is worth insane money. I don't know. I mean, this guy's Mexican League, but it's, it's Kansas City, right? Or Sporting Kansas. Yeah. Where you need like the off nations. That dude might even be extinct now. Oh man. Did I get an MK Dawn player as well? No, I would have noticed that. MK Dawn players are completely extinct. Holy God. Another one that's super expensive. How do people still not believe me that this is the way that you complete SBCs for free? I don't know how people just don't believe me. What up? Okay. <laughs> That's another crazy expensive player. Yeah, it's okay. Um, I'm recording. I, What's up? Oh, sorry. That's okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you, babe. Not another chef. Not step the chef anymore, huh? All right. Come on. Dude, these packs are outrageous, man. <laughs> oh my, Liga Nos. Dudes, you gotta do it, man. You gotta do it. Wow, my pack luck, maybe just my pack luck is in today. Who knows? Who knows? There you go. Is that Roman Pavlyuchenko? That look, this guy's still alive? Remember when he was at Spurs and actually pretty awesome? Remember when he was balling out at Spurs? God, I am dating myself now. That was years and years and years ago, wasn't it? Anyways, um, not bad. Two other useful players. All right. Now, give me a Cristiano Ronaldo. Okay, no walkout. All right. Or not. Who's that? Oh, good lord. All right, that's, that's awful. Oh my god. I'm in shock with how good bronze packs are today. I think this is 10k, dudes. Oh, I got so excited. I mean, still. 3,900 coins from a bronze pack, bro. Oh my god. Or 2,700 coins. But still, 
2,700 coins, dude. What? Now, let's see if this guy sells. He's 64 rated. Oh, my God. I got so excited. He doesn't. Unreal, man. I I, I just... I can't, I can't believe how good bronze packs are right now. <laughs> they're, just, they're, just, they're just insane, man. I think I've got, like, what? Like, 15, 20k of value on the trade pile right now as well? Holy... Look at the what? Every single pack. Now, I don't know if the bronze... Okay, I got excited. Oh my god, I thought that was another 6k. All right, let's calm down. Everybody calm down. <laughs> I thought that was a lot of coins there, but still, dude. It, it Literally, every single bronze pack, I'm making profit. I don't know what they've done to the weight of bronze packs, but they are so much better now than they were even a few weeks ago. Uh, a few weeks ago. This is absurd. This is, this is, ab I'm, I am genuinely just printing coins right now. That's all I'm doing, dude. 4k for him that this is like uh, maybe only 500 coins or something like that but still like what so we managed to get another tournament win i've been using this premier league team uh, obviously getting ourselves ready for fut champs not that we need to be uh, auto qualified or anything there but honestly man this team is doing well i do have to say uh it's i well, i've lost maybe one game in the last like 15 or so uh, I haven't, I've only maybe, I, actually, I can't even remember if I've played Division 1. I played against a lot of my viewers. A lot of them are, like, uh, competitive FUT champ players, did well against them. Uh, we just won, uh, the knockout tournament. One of the things that's blowing me away right now is just how good of a right center mid Paul Pogba is. He got a hat trick from right center mid. Like, that's mental, dude. Anyways, Hazard had a good game. Del Piero's been lights out. Conte is getting, like, near man of the match every single game for me now, now that I've really figured out how to use him. This was my opponent's team. He started out with a 4-4-1-1 formation and then switched to this. He was a good player, had a little bit of a weaker team and a far too attacking midfield. I just, I literally 1-2 passed through his entire, uh, through his entire team there. But anyways, feels good. Uh, the review so far on it, I'm going to talk about the team a little bit here. The goals, I don't remember the goals being that crazy, if I'm honest. Uh, first one, what was this here? Ah, pretty standard, pretty terrible, uh, clearance attempt there from his Mark Bartra. How he lets Hazard head that in the net, no one knows. This is a pretty good goal, intercepted it, see Pogba there, scoop turn inside, shoot cross body. Pretty standard goal. Uh, and then a Paul Pogba, he's just, he's just too good. Another scoop turn, but this time long shot. Good luck saving that one, Leno. Good luck saving that one. And then I think this one was a scrappy goal, wasn't it? Let's see here. Arnautovic, yeah, rebounds out. Boom, passes it right in the net. What? Just incredible card. Then I had to run off to the bathroom uh, in the 80th minute, and my opponent did score. I, I wasn't playing. I legit wasn't playing. I had to run off to the toilet. Um, in a cup final, believe it or not. Anyways, you know, what are you going to do? But we managed to get the win, and I got to say, Arnautovic, I'm going to show you guys the goal stats so far for the team. Arnautovic started off pretty weak for me. Uh, he wasn't really doing anything, but it was because I had him set as a target man. Let me show you here uh, real quick. So that's the setup, of course, if it'll let me do it here. Arnautovic is now on 10 games, 7 goals, 5 assists, so definitely not bad. Hazard has played God knows how many games for us, 541 games, 265 goals, 225 assists. So again, almost, almost, almost at, not really about 50 um stats away from a goal to game ratio out of 541 games not bad at all uh del piero is is god tier genuinely god tier so happy i got rid of my uh legend viera and picked up you know after picking up a few other players for relatively cheap picking up a del piero so much more effective to have that much money up front versus in the midfield especially when i have an untradeable conte and he plays for me better than patrick viera ever did he really does, man. I think the most important part of any of my teams at all, as long as he's in the in the team, is Conte's one to watch. Pogba's a pleasure to use. Again, getting a rather ridiculous amount of goals from midfield. The entire team is good. Defensively, Seamus Coleman, this red card, is second in form, if you will, is quickly becoming one of my favorite uh, right backs in the game. If not my favorite right back in the game. Very, very nice card. Uh, this Alonso, super overpowered, super good. Not entirely sure if this is going to translate all 
the same way I feel right now in FUT Champs, right? We're playing Div 1, or we're playing against my viewers that are FUT Champ players. Uh, we're playing knockout tournaments, but that's nowhere this nowhere the same stress and competition level as FUT Champs. However, as of right now, this team is doing incredibly well. Uh, I didn't think I was going to like this red read or inform read, but he's very, very good too. I haven't really used James Milner either. Might have to bring him on a few more times as well as a super sub. But the team's doing well. The only one that I had a few question marks about was that Arnautovic. And I was thinking maybe of just doing this. And then bringing on Ronaldo as a super sub like just right away. First minute of the game. But, you know, the last three or four games Arnautovic has turned it around. And I've turned him from a target man to get in behind. Doing great. Two straight cup finals. And fully deserved as well. Right here, this finalist that I was playing is your... Standard FUT Champs player. Sitting on Park the Bus. Just hit me on counters. He got his first goal to go one nothing up on a counter as well. This team was just too good, man. I, I had to go into extra time, unfortunately, to beat this guy. But, oh my lord, man. Um, So, we brought on Ronaldo and James Milner. Left center mid, Ronaldo for Hazard at right striker. Just because, not that Hazard wasn't playing that great, but he was dead. Like, he had no stamina left. Uh, this was the guy's team. Incredible team. He had the man of the match, Son. He had the one to watch, Mane, who he took off because he got a 5.7 rating, for God's sakes. But legit, this dude just sat back. I'm so proud of myself that I managed to beat this guy, man. He had all those shots just from counters. Unreal. Unreal. You should see some of the saves his Hugo Lloris, uh, his Hugo Lloris made. Look at this, too. First, like, 30 minutes, he, it was all him. Just from a counter. You know what I mean? Boom. Re this... Just the usual FUT champs type of thing. And then it all, uh, it was all me from here, really, I think. That's even usually a goal for me. Dembele scored in that position all the time. Anyways, Arnautovic, uh, who's played incredibly well, man. Look at that. Little lucky I shot that through Eric Bailly's uh, legs. But still, I would say Eric Bailly was this guy's man of the match. He was incredible. Pogba with a miss as well. I don't even remember this. What happened here? Is this just from distance? That's my fault, though. I had I had one more touch. I could take one more touch in on net, and I think Pogba probably would have put that away. Just too far right, too far back, too hard for him to get that as a goal. Arnautovic with another miss as well. Also useless. What, what am I doing? Like, what am I doing shooting from there? Off balance. There's like four players in front of me. Like, that, that was just... I think that was more of an angry shot. Look at this save. Was this... Was this the save that caused me to tilt? No, not even. That's a big save. His Hugo Lloris made a save in extra time. I think it was like right here. They didn't even... It was the craziest save I've ever seen. But anyways, Paul Pogba, he's been the man of, I would even say, the, the, the stream. So is Del Piero, to be fair. But look at that, man. Look at that. Oh, God. Talk about a cup final game winner. If you ever wanted one. Oh, my God. Best part is Hugo Lloris almost saved that too. Uh, and then Del Piero misses another one. I, I I don't know how to do free kicks anymore. Anywhere. Long, short. I just, I can't get them on target anymore. It's, it's pretty awful. But this team, man, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I hope it means we do well in FUT Champs with it. <sighs> Come on, baby. Please, EA. Please, please, please. I don't need anything. I don't want anything. Manchild, thank you for the 14 months. I do appreciate your resub though. Come on, baby. Gold one. God. Just gonna get used to that reward, aren't I? 50,000 coins every single week. Why not? Up to 328,000 coins now. Don't mind if I do. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. All right. Already qualified anyways. Here it is. Here it is. So I have a bunch of other packs to open, but we'll do that next episode. Oh, look at that. Wow, they're at the front. That's awesome. I thought it goes like best to worst type of thing or worst to best, if anything. All right, first one. We getting a walkout? No. Two informs. Oh god damn, so bad. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I thought I was gonna get an Anthony Martial. I'm not gonna lie, dude. Holy, li I mean, at least we got two informs. Can use those for marquee matchups or discard them if I need the coins later on. Wow. Wow. Potentially two of the worst informs you could ever get. <laughs> All right. Jesus. So hyped to so brought back down to earth. Anyways, let's see. Uh, because of the Lu Lu Luis Suarez SBC, are these players still going for a lot? Not really. So I'm going to keep him. 
Heart of Turan. Um, I think you need him. He's not even expensive either. Wow, so the Luis Suarez SBC has really come down then in price. 4,000. I don't know, even then, I think I'm going to keep this Isco. No real need for me to get rid of any of this, honestly. Um, all right, I'm going to store all of that. I'll take it. I'll take it. Hype canceled. Uh, I'm going to put all of this stuff on the trade pile. We'll rinse the duplicates through the SBC upgrade. All right, final one to end off the episode. I mean, I already got two informs. What else can I get, really? No walkout. Another inform. Did I just get three? I don't even know. Aiden McGeady. Wow. I got three informs out of two 100k packs. I don't think I got anything else, though, to be fair. But that's not bad. I can't complain. That's like 30,000 coins right there. No complaints at all. I could have gotten an elite and would have gotten the three. They probably would have got these three informs as well. Not bad. Uh, Wesley Schneider, Begovic. All of these dudes will use through SBCs, undoubtedly. Another murder sacker. Why not? Okay. We'll toss that murder sacker in the trade pile as well. Wow. Lots of duplicates. So, thank you for watching the episode. I love you guys. And we'll catch you on the flip side next episode for trying to complete SBCs opening those silver player packs and starting up and running through the first 20 games of fight champs peace